Well, welcome back to Thoughts While I'm Thinking. And you got to remember that these uh, opinions here are mine and mine alone and nobody else's. Don't want to get nobody in trouble about that, but I don't want to get me in trouble either. But anyway, we appreciate T-SPAN, Texas News Digest, uh, uh, that uh, helps us along with our technical stuff. And, uh, you know, we don't think we're rearranging any prejudices today. We think that we're just uh, finding up some facts and stuff to let you know something about uh, Memorial Day that's coming up. And I don't think that uh, we're going to be making any judgments. We're just going to be put them out there. And uh, I hope we uh, give you something uh, new to think about and uh, rethink what you do on uh, on the uh, Memorial Day. You know, uh, Memorial Day is uh, honoring and remembering those uh, that fought and died. It ain't about the barbecue and the neighbors and the beer. It's about those people that died in the war, defending you and uh, keeping our freedom. And uh, this is what it's about. It's about those graves. It's about decorating those graves and honoring those graves of those brave soldiers. And uh, I bet you didn't know that uh, it started uh, right after the Civil War, just as soon as that war was over, it just about. And uh, the uh, soldiers and stuff, they they were really uh, considerate about uh, their fallen buddies. And uh, the North and the South, uh, both were that away. And uh, I bet you didn't know that the uh, 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 first Memorial Day was uh, in Charleston, South Carolina in 1865. And it was uh, put on by the uh, black and uh, Confederate, uh, black Confederate and Union Confederate uh, soldiers. And they uh, did out and, and uh, did honor. And then in, a year later in 1866, on April 25th, we had uh, Confederate Day. And uh, they, when they put those flowers on, uh, on the graves and uh, decorated them. So that's basically where the beginning of Memorial Day come in, way back yonder. And uh, it was a, a beginning of from the uh, uh, black uh, soldiers on both sides of the fence. And I uh, bet you didn't know that there's about 65,000 black uh, Confederate soldiers and about 16,000 uh, of them, are, uh, they met the elephant. Well, you know what meeting the elephant is? Well, that was the enemy. And they were good soldiers and they fought all hard. Now the politicians, uh, they didn't like those uh, blacks uh, fighting for uh, the Confederacy and they wanted to keep them in there as cooks and uh, handymen and stuff like that. But those people out there on the ranks uh, and defending against those Union uh, raids and stuff, they welcomed those uh, black soldiers and they fought hard and they fought good and they were defending the Confederacy because uh, for some reason, they liked the Confederacy. And, uh, but anyway, old Colt Collier is a character there. I thought it would really be interesting to bring him up. Uh, he was born a slave, and uh, uh, he was a Confederate uh, sharpshooter and uh, cavalryman. And uh, he was a famous bear hunter, they said. And uh, he was guiding old Third Old Roosevelt on the bear hunt down in uh Onward, Mississippi area, and uh, and uh, old, uh, Roosevelt wouldn't President Roosevelt wouldn't uh, shoot the bear, so uh, old uh, Holt uh, he he roped that bear, and then everybody started calling him Teddy Bear after that, <laughs> and he was uh, buried there in uh, Live Oak Cemetery, uh, in uh, Onward, Mississippi, in 1902, so. Uh, uh, he was a pretty good character. I would have liked to know him. And anyway, those black and white soldiers, they thought, fought by side by sides in uh, the Confederate. And uh, none of our uh, modern uh, information about the Confederacy indicates anything like that at all. It's just uh, they've buried this some way or another, and for some reason or another. 
Well, I guess the reason is is they uh, needed to use it to get their purposes done. But there was a solidarity between those uh, uh, black soldiers and uh, white soldiers. And uh, and, uh, that uh, uh, occupation of Maryland in 1862, there was over 3,000, as they said, Negro uh, soldiers there. And they all had guns and they had... uh, 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 muskets and sabers and bowie knives and uh, dirks and whatever, and uh, they they worked uh, hard on keeping that, and they were good soldiers, and they they were true to the Confederacy, and Frederick Doug, Douglass reported uh, that uh, there's many colored men in the Confederate Army, and uh, they weren't cooks, they were uh, down on the line shooting, and uh, they were having their muskets and uh, sabers and stuff, and uh, they were fighting, and they were good fighters. And uh, the black and white military men returned to fire upon the Union troops at uh, the Battle of Griswoldville near Macon, Georgia. And uh, there's nearly 600 boys and elderly men were killed in that scrimmage. And uh, another little fact that I bet you didn't know is that... uh, President Jefferson Davis uh, approved a plan to uh, emancipate those slaves in order to get recognition from uh, uh, Britain and France. Well, France showed a big interest in that, but Britain turned it down. So uh, he was going to emancipate those slaves anyway. But anyway, we had the peace, and we uh, uh, enjoy celebrating that peace. But we need to know where that peace come from and where it settled in, and we need to know why why we're uh, uh, celebrating. Well, I think we've lost that, but I uh, just kind of tickling you to get you back back together, and uh, just a few pictures of some of those old uh, commissioned uh, non commissioned officers uh, that were in the Confederacy. They were they were black and they fought hard and they uh, were true to the game. And uh, they won medals, and uh, the, they were brave soldiers. <clears throat> and uh, over the years, uh, you know, they have uh, uh, all got together, the, the blacks and the whites in the South, uh, and uh, veterans of the Confederacy, and they built their monuments. And you can see here where they're digging uh, and having a groundbreaking for one of them. And... Uh, you know, the uh, black families, they sit there and they enjoy the uh, old tradition of the uh, uh, Memorial Day. And uh, we got to appreciate that. And, uh, you know, they get together now, and that's, uh, uh, that is a old picture there of them uh, at a celebration of uh, an anniversary of uh, Confederate soldiers. And you can see those black soldiers and you can see those white soldiers in there. So, you know, where does that go in our history? I don't, uh, other than those old history books back in uh, 1940 is about the last time I saw anything like that. But anyway, uh, they, they've buried this history and it's important history to uh, uh, show you what, uh, uh, without any political con- contextures there of, of the con- contributions of the blacks, because you know they were they were slaves and they were mistreated and then they uh, bob, uh, ponied up and uh, got the job done, and uh, you could see here the black and uh, uh, white uh, Confederate soldiers and dressed in their deal. They're giving a 21 gun salute to uh, completion of that uh, monument that they was building. And in uh, Louisiana, they had that Native Guard. They had that Southern Guard, all black uh, uh, Confederate soldiers. And uh, there's another shot of that um, um, uh, 21-gun salute. And uh, so, you know, they just gave it all. And, uh, you know, we're worried about the national debt now, but those guys, they gave their whole life. And uh, the South and the... North, they, we got together and we lived side by side and we do a lot of progress. And we can thank a lot of that uh, and we learn a lesson in that Civil War. We learn that uh, politics is, uh, it gets in the way of a lot of good performances of people. 
And uh, so uh, we've been celebrating Memorial Day ever since. And we used to have those big parades and uh, uh, celebrate the flag. And uh, we saw the old uh, uh, black Confederates and the black unions and the white unions and the white Confederates marching together in those parades and enjoying Memorial Day. And uh, that old Confederate soldier there, he was just a, a real trooper. And uh, we got to remember that uh, Memorial Day is to honor those people that died and uh, keep things like it ought to be. And uh, this is what it's all about, is putting up flags and decorations over those uh, uh, old graves of those uh, people that gave their life for the country. So this Memorial Day, let's take another look at it. And uh, if you uh, see a black buddy down the road there, tip your hat and to thank him for his ancestor's part in the Memorial Day. And uh, that's rearranging our prejudices or thoughts or whatever. I don't think so. But anyway, uh, adios amigo, and we'll see you on the flip side.